We all know Caleb Williams is going to be the first pick in the draft. He's had one visit to Chicago. The other quarterbacks are making plenty of other visits. And Chris, I'm going to skip ahead to this and then we'll come back. Okay. The commanders are bringing in for simultaneous visits. Jaden Daniels, Drake May, J.J. McCarthy, yeah. and Michael Penix. Right. Now, look, I, it seems dysfunctional to me on the surface to do that. And I know that somebody reported that Adam Peters, they did that in San Francisco. I, I mean, I feel like this is just, well, the owner's available this day, and he wants to meet with all these guys, so this is the day we want them all to be here. Why would you dilute your ability to get maximum time and, and just an opportunity to evaluate. You're trying to evaluate four guys at once because the, the glass half full story is we well, want to see how they interact with each other. But you're, you're, you know, you're trying to keep track of these four different guys. Like, why would you not? You've got 30 of these visits you can do. Why would you not bring them in one at a time and have maximum opportunity to get to know them individually? I, I, I don't understand that either. I mean, I, I really don't. It's, it's definitely odd to me. First off, why who, why do we care about what how they four would interact together? Like they're not going to be together. So who the hell cares? Yeah, they're never gonna, right? You, they're never going to be together like, again. Who this the hell it. cares? Like, I mean, the, the, so at the draft, maybe. That, but no, some of them aren't even going to be at the. No, draft. it makes so that makes no sense at all. Right? I, I'm I'm more along the lines with you. Why wouldn't you want to dig into each guy there a little bit? You know. Now maybe they're going like, hey, it's it's let's get a feel for all these guys at once and what we like and what we don't like and we compare and okay, I, I understand that too a little bit, but again, I think you could do that within each individual day throughout the week and you could still be like, hey, we had him yesterday. How does he compare to the guy we had in today? I mean, I, that that's where it's a little odd, c certainly. Um, I expect it to be Jaden Daniels, but you know, I think they're probably sitting here doing a little bit like, hey. Is New England might trade up. Maybe they'll trade up to number two. Maybe we might have to drop down to three or somewhere else. Who else are we going to like after Jaden Daniels if we do make a move like that and somebody gives us a king ransom to come up and get Jaden Daniels or something? I understand them doing their due diligence that way. I get that, but it is definitely odd to have it all at the same day. I just don't understand why you would squander your 30 visits, four of them simultaneously, on the most important position. I don't even think you're going to see the true guys be themselves all the way. No. Right? No, that's what right? I was going to say. I, that, that's where it would bother me. Like, if I was in there with, right, Carson Palmer and Byron Leftwich and my draft class and Kyler Bowler, I don't think you're going to get a feel for any of us for our real because we're, we're, we're competitive. I'm going to be looking at the other guy like, you asshole, I'm better than you any day of the week. <laughs> I mean, like, you're not going to get a good feel, and they're going to be looking at me the same way too. You're like, yeah, that big mouth Jersey jerk. Get him the hell out of here, right? I mean, so uh, that's where I don't, I don't understand the logic in it. <laughs> yeah, I don't either. I think it's as simple as that's the day the owner's available to set aside a day to meet with these guys and these guys and the owner really wants to meet with these guys. I, I think that's the explanation. I don't know whether they did it in San Francisco or not, but like when they drafted a quarterback third overall, it didn't work. So maybe you shouldn't do that. Again, whatever they did in San Francisco to settle on Trey Lance, maybe you should do the opposite. Adam Peters in Washington, by the way, uh, the betting odds are leaning heavily towards something Chris has been saying for weeks now, run to the podium with Jaden Daniels' name on it. He's the overwhelming favorite at minus 275. J.J. McCarthy next at 7-1. to one. And then it, but, I mean, Caleb Williams is only on the board but in the very remote and unlikely chance that the Bears don't take him. D Drake May off the board. And when I first heard you say that during a break earlier, I thought, well, do they? he's the guy at number two. Apparently, it has something to do with the volatility of the market and DraftKings not wanting to put itself in position where if someone has inside information, the whole thing gets blown up. And inside information is a real thing. And someone is going to know who they're going to take at number two. Somebody already does know where they're leaning, and it's just dangerous. When Anytime you have bets that are based on anything other than the outcome of a game, you're running the risk of inside information screwing everything up. All right, let's take a break. By the way, uh, DraftKings Sportsbook is an official sports betting partner of the NBA, and this season new customers can bet $5 and get $150 in bonus bets instantly. Download the app and use the promo code PFTLIVE when you sign up. DraftKings Sportsbook, the crown is yours. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.